let's take a look at RS-232. Now we're going to use a MAX-232 chip to convert a TTL signal to RS-232 and then back to TTL. And we're going to use that to uh, send data between two Arduinos. And we're going to send it over a no modem cable. Now, this cable, we take uh, pin 3 and tie it to pin 2 here and pin 2 on this one to pin 3 on this one. Now, it's called a no modem cable because historically they used it to connect two uh, teleprinters together without a modem. If they were going to a modem, it would be a modem cable. No modem, no modem cable. So, that's how we're, we're connecting this. 3 to 2 and 2 to 3. And, of course, we have a ground there. Now, we're going to send a, an H. We're going to wait a second. We're going to send an L over here. And when it gets over here, when we see the H, it's going to turn on pin 13, make it high. And we see an L, it's going to take pin 13 and, and put it low there. And this is the code to send the uh, H and the L, capital H and capital L over there. And this is the binary representation of an H and L, your ASCII code. Now, the receiver code here, it's, if you look in Arduino IED under examples, communication, physical pixel, you'll see the, uh, the code uh, that'll decode that. Now, we've talked about a UART frame before. It has a start bit, eight data bits, and a parity bit, then a stop bit. Now, we're not using this parity bit in this one. So we're going to send a start bit, and then our eight data bits, and a stop bit. And we're going to do the same thing with the RS-232. Now, when, you, when we send this, we're going to send it with the least significant bit first. This one here is the least significant. This is the most significant bit. You can send it this way, but we're going to send it this way. We're going to send the, the data. We're going to have the start bit, and then we're going to start sending it this way. So we're going to send it three zeros first, and a one, two zeros, one, and a zero. Okay? And the same thing with our, our RS-232. Now, the TTL logic, the logic one is 2.7 to 5 volts, and the logic zero is going to be uh, 0 to 0.5 volts. Now, the RS-232, the logic 0 is plus 13 volts, and a logic 1 is minus 13 volts. Okay, so kind of just the opposite there. Now, I'll take, we'll take a look at the uh, scope. Here we are here. Now, we sent the, uh, the three zeros first, and then a 1, then two zeros, and a 1, and then a zero, okay? We would read it this way, but we sent it this way. We sent the three zeros first. These three zeros here we sent first. And on the uh, RS-232, uh, we sent uh, three zeros first. They're plus 13 volts. Then a, a one, two zeros, a one, and a, and a zero here, okay? This, uh, it... The scope decodes it here. This is 48H. That's the uh, um, ASCII code for capital H. Okay. That, that's a hex number for the capital H. So uh, I put the unit together over here. We'll see if it works. Yeah. All right. Turn that one on, turn that one on, and you can see that the, uh, we're sending code through the, uh, now I have a, these things, I have a ground, these are the old ones I used, um, but uh, I, I, I don't need a ground here, I just went 3 to 2 here, and here's the, uh, turning the LED on, on the uh, Arduino here, so it works fine. The ground is uh, connected. Uh, other places on this on this board here. This was the RS uh, uh, 45. This was our our CAN bus, and this is our uh, um, RS 232. So it, it works. So um, that's uh, RS 232. Thanks.